Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made mention of another very, very touching incident. There was a Sahabi known as, in fact, he was not a Sahabi at the time. What had happened is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the year where when they achieved victory of Makkah, they entered Makkah to Mukarramah. As they entered Makkah to Mukarramah, he went to the Kaaba. When he went to the Kaaba, the Kaaba was locked. The key used to be kept by a man known as Uthman ibn Talha. This Uthman ibn Talha was not a Muslim at the time. So he locked the doors of the Kaaba and he ran right up to the roof and he stood and hid on the roof. So when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam entered Makkah, most of the people of Makkah were accepting Islam as he was entering. And he asked for the key of the Kaaba. So the people told him that it is with Uthman ibn Talha. And they found him on top of the roof of the Kaaba. So Ali radiallahu anhu told him, Ya Uthman, give us the key. Here is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asking for the key. And he said, O oh Muhammad, if I had believed that you were a prophet, I would have opened the doors a long time ago. What this means is I don't believe that you are a prophet, so I'm not going to open the door. And Ali radiallahu anhu happened to snatch the key from this man, Uthman ibn Talha. And he opened the door of the Kaaba. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam entered the Kaaba and read two rakat salah in the Kaaba. And Al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, the uncle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was there. And he told Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, do you know that I am in charge or our family is in charge of pouring water for the hajis? pouring water for those and quenching the thirst of those who come for Hajj. So if you hand the key over to us, we will have two points of honor. One is to pour the water and the other is to open and close and lock and open the door of the Kaaba as and when it is necessary. So Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam came down with a verse inside the Kaaba. This is one verse which was revealed in the Kaaba. Subhanallah. Inna Allah ya'murukum an tu'addu al-amanati ila ahliha. Allah is commanding you to return the trust to those whom they belong to. Which means, O oh Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, give the key back to Uthman ibn Talha. This is what was meant. So, Immediately Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got up, gave the key to Ali ibn Abi Talib and told him, go to Uthman ibn Talha, return the key and excuse yourself for the manner in which you had snatched the key. So Ali radiallahu anhu went back to Uthman ibn Talha and told him, Ya Uthman, this is the key and we excuse ourselves, we are presenting an excuse because we were wrong the way we snatched the key from you. Uthman ibn Talha was surprised and amazed, oh Ali, you a few minutes ago were harming me. You came to me very harshly and now you are being so humble. What is it? He said, Wallahi ya Uthman, qad anzal Allahu fika Qur'ana. Wallahi ya Uthman, Allah has revealed regarding you Qur'an. Allah says, Inna Allah ya'murukum an tu'addu al-amanati ila ahliha. Allah has instructed Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to return this amana to whom it belongs to. For that reason, this key has been given back to you here. Immediately Uthman ibn Talha said, Inni ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. I bear witness that indeed Allah is one and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is none other than the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you know what happened? Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam came down with more revelation. This time not in the form of Quran, but in the form of an instruction to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Muhammad, get up and inform Uthman ibn Talha that the key of the Kaaba will remain in his progeny and family until the day of Qiyamah. Wallahi, my dear listeners, to this minute, the key is with the members of the family of Uthman ibn Talha radiallahu anhu. And he became known as one of the greatest Sahaba radiallahu anhu. If you are to go to Saudi Arabia today, you will find the family of this man is protected by police and they are protected by the government of that kingdom. This was the power of the revelation of the Quran. This is what happened to Uthman ibn Talha radiallahu anhu. This was the justice of Islam. Can we compete with this? Imagine Al-Abbas, the uncle was asking for the key and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, return this key to Uthman ibn Talha. Subhana rabbi al-a'la. A miracle is that up to this minute, wallahi thumma wallah, the key happens to be in the hands of the same family members. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
by His grace and mercy, has afforded myself the opportunity of entering the Kaaba on three occasions. And I have also read two rakats of Salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the acceptance and make all of us enter it at one point or another. Wallahi, it was only the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the acceptance.